Previously, Yao Yao and Jinlin stayed at Yao Yao's room together. Jinlin is sleeping on the sofa, and Yao Yao is sleeping on the bed. Yao Yao barely can sleep. Don't know it's because of the thunder or because of other reason. She keeps tossing and turning while sleeping. Bo Jinlin, are you asleep? Finally, she decided to check on Jinlin if he is asleep or not. She probably wants to ask him something. Jinlin doesn't respond to her at first, but he actually didn't fall asleep yet. You are too noisy. I cannot sleep. I'm not used to sleeping in a bed other than my own. Is it my fault for insomnia? So can you read this to me? Forget it if you're not willing. What a meanie. You can fall asleep after I read this to you. Yes, I'm sure I'll fall asleep. When he gave me English tutoring before, I always lost my mind because of his voice. I really kind of missed it. You go to bed and lie down. Done. What are you doing? He is not going to sleep next to me to read it, right? Hum, you don't want me to read anymore? Sorry, I misunderstood it. When I was a child. My grandfather told me He has a big tree
Good night. I slept so soundly last night. And unread messages? What time is it? Zi Jinren? What did you say to Young Si? I didn't expect you to be so vicious. If you are not happy yourself, do you have to make others feel the same way? You really have dark personality. A long time no contact that I forgot to block his number. Thanks for reminding. I have something to talk to you. I answered the phone just to let you know that I have nothing to talk to you. Please delete each other. Thank you. I'm right in front of the door of Cheng House now. If you're not afraid that the elders will know, just you try. Stand there and don't move. <laughs> 